Making compost is like making wine. It gets better with age. Or does it? Why do I have one compost described as overaged after four weeks and another described as curing after a year? I used to compare making compost with making wine, but it's not like that at all. The comparison fits somewhat for yard waste composting, where the humification process is important, but it's not the same for food waste composting. I have a small handful of compost. It's a year old. It looks really good, but it has a much stronger and more pungent odor than the two-week-old pile of food waste compost that you can see behind it. So why is the one-year-old compost smelly and the two-week-old compost not? Also, both composts have a Solvita maturity rating of six. How can that be? Time is not as important as optimizing microbial activity. Let's explore this further. I will describe six factors that influence the smell of compost and the time to maturity. First is the percentage of food waste in the mix. The more food waste, the greater the oxygen demand and the more likely that the microbes will be short of oxygen for a time. Second is the size of the food waste particles. The smaller the particles, the faster the compost process because there's more exposed surfaces for the microbes. The downside is that the smaller the particles, the greater the oxygen demand and a greater need to manage oxygen and heat. Third is how well the compost was blended. The goal is to have the small food waste particles coating the surface of the woody bulking agent particles. Microbes swim in the water layer around particles, so coating the woody bits with food waste puts the food where the microbes are. Fourth is the oxygen concentration during composting. The longer that we can keep the oxygen content above 15%, or better yet, at at least 18%, the faster the decomposition will be. This means having a mix with optimal air-filled porosity and a good supply of air. If the oxygen concentration is too low for too long at the beginning of the process, the odor is likely to linger long into the curing process. Fifth is temperature. Maintaining temperature at 55 to 60 degrees Celsius encourages the diversity of aerobic microbes that we get excited about. Sixth is how the compost is managed following active aerated composting. If it's placed on a large pile where the oxygen is depleted, odorous compounds develop. So perhaps here we have the ideal. Small food waste particles, well blended with yard waste overs to give a mix with an air-filled porosity of 38%. Adequate aeration to maintain the oxygen concentration above 16% after the first day. Optimal temperatures. Material not drying prematurely. Material mixed after one week to eliminate preferential air pathways and redistribute moisture. And no odor. I would say now that making good compost from food waste is about understanding and optimizing the microbial process. Perhaps more like making good beer. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.